I just love the character of Blue, don't you? <laughs> he really is one of my favorites from this movie. Oh, and one of the cool things about that song is actually the way it's spelled. So how do you think bear is spelled in the bear necessities? Did you say B-E-A-R? Well, you're right. That is the bear necessities like Baloo. But the song title is actually spelled the B-A-R-E necessities. The bear necessities, meaning the basic necessities. What are our basic necessities? And as Baloo teaches Mowgli, his basic necessities are a rock and a tree to scratch his back on having food, right? Being able to make the jungle his home, his water, the fresh water that he's swimming in and drinking in. And so that got me to think, what are our bare necessities? And also realizing that maybe some of our basic necessities have changed a lot over the last three or four weeks. Some of the different things that we need have become a lot more important. And some of the things that aren't so important have had to be pushed aside. Oftentimes when we ask this class, this question in the classroom, we get kids who say their bike is a basic necessity or Fortnite or cookies, but those aren't really basic necessities, are they? They're fun and they're great additions to have, but they're not basic. So thinking back to what Baloo's basic necessities are and then thinking about what our basic necessities are, what comes to mind? For me, let's see, mm, water. Water is the first thing that comes to mind as a basic necessity, right? We all need water to live and survive. And then close after that one comes food. We all need food. Our body needs the energy to get up every day, to move, to play, to learn, and to work. So we need food, we need water. What's another basic necessity? I know. I'm thinking of one that sounds like this. <sighs> Did you say air? <laughs> yeah. In order to breathe, we need clean air, right? We need clean air, and that is a basic necessity. Another basic necessity. Hmm. What about a shelter, right? Maybe it is your home, but not everybody has a home that looks like everybody else's. Mowgli certainly didn't but he still had a shelter. He still had a place to go in case the weather was bad or it was really cold out or there was a tiger out to get you. So we need a shelter for sure. Another basic necessity. Connection, right? Community, the people. And that's a little hard right now because we can't have our normal community of people or the normal connection that we have. So sometimes that one feels like a basic necessity, and it is one, but right now we don't have the ability to necessarily connect to all the people that we usually love to see. And hopefully you have some great technology where you're able to see people via the phone and through different apps to be able to connect with those loved ones. Well, those are our basic necessities. And I might be forgetting one or two. So if you think of a few more, feel free to post below and I'll comment back to you. There's one more thing I wanna to talk to you about today. And that is a style of music that we get to hear in The Jungle Book. It'll be in a song we get to do later this week called I Wanna Be Like You. And that is the art form of jazz music. Have you ever heard of jazz music? J-A-Z-Z. It already sounds pretty cool, right? Jazz music is an American art form, and it was created in New Orleans in the late 19th and 20th century. It was super prominent in the 1920s and 1930s. And the cool thing about jazz music is that it's all about improvisation. Do you know what that word means, improvisation? It means doing something without thinking. So if I had to tell you to pick your very best Baloo pose on the count of three. I want you to pick it. It can be anything you want. Maybe he's lounging in the chair. Maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he's dancing. Whatever it is on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Did you do it? I picked a sleeping, yawning Baloo pose. 
Well, you didn't have much time to think about it. And that's what improvisation is. It's just doing something. And that's what the musicians do, except they're doing it with their instruments. It's really incredible. They have solos where a certain trumpet player or piano player or drummer takes their solo with improvisation and man, can take your attention for hours. So what I want you to do is take a look at some of the videos we've provided below. We provided you some videos about what jazz music is, but also some of the most famous jazz musicians that ever existed. One of my favorites is Louis Armstrong please click his video below because when you hear him sing, your eyes will grow as wide as mine are right now. He has the most unique voice I've ever heard. And then on top of it, he plays a mean trumpet. So check that one out. Another favorite jazz artist is Ella Fitzgerald, the goddess of jazz music. And not only can she sing like an angel, but she has the ability to scat. Yeah, I said the word scat. And that's vocal improvisation. So please go ahead and take a look at some of those videos below and get a feel of jazz music. Maybe you're a musician yourself and this is just an art form you don't know. And maybe you're a budding jazz artist and you just need to watch these videos to start getting in the groove. And we'll get in the groove a little bit later this week with King Louie in his song, I Wanna Be Like You. All right, friends, after you finish those videos, you'll come back to me and we'll sing our new goodbye song.